Good afternoon, my name is uh, Dr. John Lee and I'm in the Department of Chemistry. And the uh, student co-author on this presentation is uh, Jeremy Money, who was the uh, first student to participate from Chattanooga State in this program, where we are providing an opportunity for transfer students from Chattanooga State to come to UTC and, and kind of bridge the gap. I'm going to summarize those two parts of the title, title into one picture. Um, the, the left half of the picture, you can see a chemical reaction. All chemical reactions have an energy associated with them, and most chemical reactions occur where the products shown at the here are lower in energy than the reactants. And indeed, this chemical reaction shown here is summation of this statement. We are reducing these two dashes or this double bond to this one dash or this single bond. This is a thermodynamically favorable reaction, and I believe students who are completed their two-year degree and more and more are going to be doing that at a Chattanooga State type school because of the Tennessee Promise, it is thermodynamically favorable for them to come to UTC and finish their four-year degree because they've invested into their higher education. However, as you can also see, there's a problem here that both of these processes contain a high activation barrier or energy has to be put into the system to overcome, to go into the downhill form. In the left-hand side, that involves breaking bonds and rearrangement of atoms. On the right-hand side, that involves a student coming in, not as a freshman, but as a junior now, and dealing with students that have already formed groups, study groups. They know their professors, they know the UTC culture, they know where everything is. So there is something that has to be overcome here. So both processes, oops, need a catalyst. A catalyst is defined as a substance that can provide an alternative lower energy pathway without being consumed. So my idea is to combine a two-year college student in my laboratory doing this type chemistry to overcome this barrier. So we're providing an alternative pathway for a STEM student to come to UTC, finish their degree. That is done currently by myself working with a Chattanooga State faculty to find a student who is graduating, interested in coming to UTC, and they are chosen through an interview process with, with me and enter, the, uh, enter UTC via working on a research lab project as shown here. In my lab, they're working on real-world chemical challenges, for example, involving multiple bond reductions, so taking a double bond, turn it into a single bond in the presence of a catalyst. But in this case, instead of using an exp a more expensive catalyst, we're interested in using less expensive catalysts, so developing new systems. And this is a compound that was prepared last summer by a Chattanooga State student. And these type of reactions are key steps in the synthesis of pharmaceutically related molecules. Outcomes, the uh, student integrates into the department. They gain critical thinking skills. They learn new laboratory techniques, all before they even step foot into a classroom with their new colleagues. So they've already built those relationships before starting their coursework. In addition, they present results. And here is Mr. Money presenting his results at an ACS meeting last year. And if the uh, work is of good quality, could potentially result in a student co-authored publication. So right now, we are in our second, uh, or excuse me, our final year of funding from Research Corporation, and that means we have one more ch chance to, to do this program, and Mr. Lucas DeCarmo from Chattanooga State will be working in my group uh, this summer before starting UTC in the fall, and I'm hoping that with funding from, from, uh, from these sources here, that we can continue this project. And, and I'm having a hard time with the laser pointer. And I have to end with a crystal structure from data that Jeremy obtained. Thank you.